I'm here today at the Cape Town Central Police Station to lay criminal charges against EFF leader Julius Malema as well as EFF Western Cape MP Nasir Pulsa. officially laid criminal charges against EFF leader Julius Malema and EFF member of parliament Nazir Paulson. This is over social media posts which the party says incites violence. The charges were laid at the Cape Town Central Police Station. Malema this past weekend tweeted, cowards move to the back, fighters attack. This was accompanied by a picture of a machine gun. Now, Paulson followed suit, posting a picture of a machine gun with the words, get ready. The DA says the EFF leadership is publicly inciting racial warfare and during a delicate time in the country. It's also referred both Malema and Paulson to Parliament's Ethics Committee. We are certainly not giving up on this. I've laid a charge with the Ethics Committee of Parliament. I've laid charges at the Human Rights Commission. I've laid charges at the Equity Court. I'm going every which route I possibly can. In South Africa today, there is absolutely no way a member of Parliament, or quite frankly anybody, should be allowed to get away with a racial rhetoric hate that is spewed by Malema and his fascist thugs on a virtually daily basis. And I'm not going to stop until someone is held accountable for the attempt to bring about a rural civil war in this country. I'm here today at the Cape Town Central Police Station to lay criminal charges against EFF leader Julius Malema as well as EFF Western Cape MP Nazir Pulsa for incitement to violence. Both of them have made social media posts which are very worrying which would incite violence, which encourage people to take up arms and would encourage people to participate in acts of war. Uh, these are highly problematic, not only for a normal South African, but even more so for a member of parliament who swears an oath of allegiance to the constitution and promises to uphold the constitution. Now the problem is when you're inciting violence and encouraging people to go to war, that is a direct contradiction of the constitution and everything that we as South Africans stand for. Julius Malema has been allowed to get away, him and his thugs, with this kind of behaviour for too long. It is now time that the Minister of Police and the President of this country make it very clear. Are they on the side of the EFF, who are fascist thugs, or on the, on the side of South Africans, who are peace-loving people who want to live together? Hello, South Africa. Natasha Matsone here, the DA Chief of Parliament. This morning, I laid charges of incitement to violence against EFF leader Julius Malema, as well as EFF parliamentarian Nazir Paulson. This is a time where the extreme left and the extreme right must be stopped and the rational centre needs to hold firm. We cannot have people posting things like a machine gun being shot with someone else shooting off a handgun. People showing us photos of AK-47s with messages attached to it saying, a kanivati. We can't have members and leaders of parties telling fellow members to attack. Because South Africa, the last time Julius Malema called on his members to attack, they did. Petrol bombs were thrown into click stores, click stores were destroyed, people lost their jobs, and businesses had to shut down for days. It's time for the rational centre to hold. We are not going to allow this fascist behaviour to ever become normal behaviour in South Africa. Most South Africans, in fact 99.9% of us, want a peaceful and prosperous environment in which we can all live together. Let us stand together and stop the extremists. Let us stand together and be the rational centre that holds.